Hey guys, what's up? It's becoming from GNA today. So I've got the Heritage Rough Rider Revolver, and this is actually with the 16 inch barrel. Okay, and the one that I got has the adjustable sights on it. It's got fiber optic sights, it's got green on the rear, and it has orange on the front. And these are very good sights, very easy to see out in the daylight. Six. Okay, so first of all, I know people are going to watch this, and um, I've seen Deuce and Gun's review on, on his 16-inch Heritage Rough Rider, and a very good review, go watch his. This gun is just a fun gun, alright? It's not going to be for, ser for doing anything serious, pretty much, okay? You're not going to carry do uh, concealed carry with this at all, obviously. You're not going to shoot in competitions with this gun, for the most part, I don't know what competition this would be good for. It's a fun gun and I've seen some people saying maybe they go around their property and use it for hunting critters. I mean it'd be fine for that but realistically for me if if I were gonna want to use a revolver for that I would use a shorter barrel revolver okay. So this is not like a a serious gun. I mean it is a gun and it's not a toy. It shoots 22 it can kill you just as fast as anything but yeah it's just a silly gun and it's fun. It is loads and loads of fun. And if there ever was a head turner for being at the range, this is it. You are going to turn heads when you pull this out. Okay, I also bought a 22 mag cylinder for this and it works perfect for that. Okay, there are snap caps here in the cylinder and I've never shot a Rough Rider before so it's definitely taken me a while to do this and I still do it is actually switch on that safety and what happens is with the safety on that's it pushed up like this the safety is on to where it doesn't allow the hammer to strike the firing pin but with the safety on you can still drop the hammer and so you do that and if you're shooting you're not paying attention, you shoot that and think, oh whoops, dud round or something. No, it's just that the safety kept the hammer from actually hitting. Safety. Okay, the trigger on it is pretty good. Three pounds, one, two ounces. 3 pounds, 1.8 ounces, 3 pounds, 3 pounds, right at 3 pounds, a little over 3 pounds, a little over 3 pounds. When I first got it I weighed it and it was right at a little over 4 pounds and I, after shooting 500 rounds so through it, it has reduced and it's pretty decent trigger for what it is. Okay, so obviously this is single action only. There's a little bit of take up, but not much at all. Barely moves. Yep, just a tiny bit of take up before it breaks. I tried several different rounds out of it. Uh, I tried CCI standard velocity, I tried blazer, um, I even tried Ely target. Um, I shot some just standard bulk pack federal and I, I think the CCI standard velocity in this blazer probably shot about as good as anything although I did say, see somebody on I think a Deuce and Guns video of this somebody saying that the 22 uh, CB short by CCI the 29 grain for him grouped the best. 
So I did shoot group, groups with this, and you'll see I'm shooting it off of a sandbag, which I know that's going to degrade the, the accuracy. It's going to degrade the uh, preciseness of it. But also, whenever you're holding it, it's just such a weird feeling having the barrel want to tip down so much with it being so barrel heavy. And with the revolver grip, it just it's just hard to shoot accurately because if you're shooting offhand, it's weird with the way you have to hold that weight with the grip. And then obviously when you have it on a rest, then it's not working as good. So I did shoot groups. I, I didn't get great groups. And I'll show you some video of that. And then I did shoot two groups at seven yards. And again, this is a six round group. This is a six round group. I know those are not great groups. Okay, and then I've teared this out. The only way I can make this fit on the scale here, and it weighs right at two pounds, 14 ounces. So nearly three pounds. Where my Bearcat weighs one pound, six ounces. That barrel is adding on a whole bunch of weight. So what happens, it's when you go to reach for the hammer and you kind of break your grip to reach up there, the weight, the weight of that barrel wants to pull it down where it's hard to get to the hammer. At first, of course, the cylinder was very tight and um, I've put about 500 rounds through it at this point. I've been to, uh, to three different range sessions with it. It's, it's smoothed up, although it's not near as smooth as my Ruger Bearcat. The cylinder on it doesn't spin near as smoothly as the cylinder does on my Bearcat. Stupid safety. Got it. Got it. Oh, that was terrible. Got it. Yeah, finally got it. Got it. Got it six again. The thing about it is, I didn't spend like a thousand dollars on this on this gun or anything like that. Obviously, it was one hundred eighty dollars, and that's probably really going to be on the high side of this. I bought one hundred eighty dollars from Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore, and that was shipped. And then I had a twenty-five dollar transfer fee, so total two hundred and five dollars for this. And like I said, I think one hundred eighty probably is going to be a little bit on the high side. Although I have looked for this uh, model that has the adjustable sights, and it looks like everywhere right now they're sold out on that. Also on mine, I've got it adjusted as far as I can, and it still shoots a little bit to the right. And um, so definitely a good thing that uh, I have these adjustable sights on here. It's got uh, windage uh, here, and then your elevation is right here. And the elevation I was able to get perfect. It's dead on. Uh, and it doesn't shoot too far right, but just a little bit.
I shot, the groups that I shot, I shot at 25 yards, but a lot of the shooting you're gonna see in this video is me actually shooting out to 100 yards at steel plates out at 100 yards, and uh, just, just a blast for doing that. At one point I was trying to just, I, I figured out exactly where to hold, and from the, from the sandbags I was able to shoot pretty, pretty quickly and be able to hit six times in a row on that steel at 100 yards, and I did that several times. I hit, whenever I shot obviously groups of six, six round cylinder, um, nearly always at least I always got five out of six where I could hit that 100 yard plate. And I think it's a six or seven inch plate, or maybe it's even, yeah, six, seven, eight inch, something like that plate out there at 100 yards and be able to hit it nine out of 10 times pretty much. Um, so anyways, just a, just a fun gun. That's exactly what this thing is. Nothing more, but definitely for the price, it is definitely one of those things that's just, just fun to have in a, in a collection. This is Becoming from GNA Today. Thanks for watching.